Hi, this is Nick with Atlantic Laser Scanning, and today we're going to go through registration of a simple four scan project. Uh, this project did not use any targets, so we are going to do a targetless registration in theme. Uh, we will go to registration. We've got all four of our, pro our scans loaded up correctly uh, in our quick preview here. Uh, perform automatic registration. Top view cloud to cloud. Uh, since we did not use any kind of localizer, uh, that is what we're going to go with. And we just hit a quick register and verify. And let it cook. Now we've got it finished with our registration. We're going to verify it, load our scans, check and see that they're in the correct places or what we would think are correct. This looks very good. And we'll say yes, finish. And we'll go to our explore screen where it should load. And there we go. Our platform looks good. Now, you may ask, why did we refrain from adding color to the skin? Depending on the time of day, how much sunlight was, uh, was out during these uh, scans, we may have overexposure. So when we take a look at a single scan here, uh, when there's no color added and this loads up, we've got very crisp, clear lines, as you can see. Whereas if this was uh, maybe direct sunlight during the day, it'd be an overexposure on the camera and we may lose quite a lot of detail. Now, if we wanna go ahead and add color to the entire project, assuming we're not going to necessarily use it the way it is and do our measuring and scene, uh, we can just pop over to the old user interface and click the main scans folder, go to operations, apply pictures. We're going to choose this and let it cook. All right, now we've got our project completely colorized. Check it out in 3D here. Looks very nice. Let's go ahead and try some new features here with the last couple of versions of scene. Let's try to put a mesh on part of this project here in 3D. We'll go ahead and open a single scan. Just grab this piece right here. And right click create objects. We're gonna create create a mesh. Hit OK. And we'll let that cook for a couple of minutes. Now let's go ahead and view in 3D what our mesh looks like. From the angle we began with. See, we've got a nice tight edge on it here. Now you can see the limitations by taking a look at as we get away from what was contacted directly by uh, the laser as we get further away and then we've got some, uh, some deflection here uh, from the points that didn't hit squarely, we're gonna have less and less accuracy. But as you can see, the, uh, the direct angles looked very, very nice. Now let's go ahead and get rid of this. We'll jump back into the new interface. We'll save our project. All right, let's go ahead and create a project point cloud so that we can use a clip box on the project. Let that get going. We've got ourselves a project point cloud, which will now enable us 
to take a look at the project here and be able to create a clip box. Once we unload all of our scans, there we go. We'll straighten everything out properly. There we go. Now if we want to just take a look at the surface of this deck, quick, easy. We can skim it right down to the surface if we want to here. We've got our mesh that's still there. But other than that, everything's down.